What up, YouTube? G4 Leader here once again, back with another video for you guys. In today's topic, I'm going to talk to you guys about some hip hop. In case some of you have been living under a rock, I'll give you guys a recap of what's been going on. Eminem dropped Revival. Nobody liked that shit, unfortunately. You know, and a lot of critics and people said that was one of his worst albums. A lot of people been saying that album was trash, it was whack. And Eminem came out with a surprise album last Friday, and you know, and he went at all his critics basically. And not only did he go over all his recent critics, he addressing shit that stemmed back all the way to 2012. So he's hitting up people like Charlemagne, Joe Budden, Academics, um, Machine Gun Kelly, <laughs> Lord Jamar. He's going off on everybody. And the first to respond has been Machine Gun Kelly. He dropped a, a diss track toward Eminem called Rap Devil. What's my thoughts on Rap Devil? You know. <laughs> and in case you wonder why he called himself, he calling it Rap Devil. Eminem called himself Rap God. So he's just playing off of that, calling himself Rap Devil. My thoughts on it is, that shit's great for hip hop. I'm actually glad somebody re replied. You know, contrary to popular belief, I, I mean, somebody like me from Detroit who got the utmost respect for Eminem because he's, he's somebody that started to put us on the map, you know. I think MGK replying is good for hip-hop. I'm glad everybody didn't just roll over, you know, and Eminem dissing them. You know, um, because I thought that was going to be the case. Um, Joe Button said he ain't going to reply because he's retired. You know, Lord Jamar ain't going to reply. You know, academics ain't going to spit nothing. Academics, he, he, he does parody rap and shit. You know, so it seemed like nobody was going to reply, but MGK did. And I have to say, it was a good reply. It was a good rap. You know, do, do I support MGK? No, <laughs> that's where it ends right there. I'm glad he replied, but do I support MGK? No, but do I support MGK? No. The what's the, what's caused this to begin with is a tweet that Machine Gun Kelly said in 2012. He addressed um, Eminem's daughter, saying she was hot as fuck, and. I know you guys thinking, well, she's grown. Why can't he say something like that? This was 2012 he said this. Um, Haley is 22 right now. So 6 minus 22. She was like 15 or 16 when this grown-ass man was saying this teenager was, was, was sexy as fuck. You know, on some straight pedophile shit. So as a father, I get why Eminem replied. You know, Machine Gun Kelly should be glad he just rapped at him and he ain't called Trick Trick to lay some hands on this motherfucker for speaking on his daughter back then. So in that context, I, I think Machine Gun Kelly was way out of line, but it's just kind of weird to me that Eminem replied six years later, you know, in rehashing this beef, and that's what started this whole thing. Do I think M Machine Gun Kelly's gonna win this shit? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I think Eminem, Eminem that's, that's a lot of things people forget about Eminem. Is Eminem used to battle rap. Eminem is built for this shit. A lot of people always used to say this argument where Eminem never went at any lyrical rappers. He never went and he always go at pop singers and stuff like, no! Uh, that's where a lot, that's where the information get fucked up. Because a lot of these people ain't from Detroit, so they don't know the history that he came up in that battle rapping people. That that's what he used to do. He went up against all of Detroit's lyricists at one point or another. He had beef against Royce the Five Nine at one point, and Royce the Five Nine is one of the best rappers out here. So it's just kind of like I, that's a myth when people say that about Eminem. I feel like Eminem, if he decides to reply, because it's an if. I feel like he would destroy Machine Gun Kelly, and I feel like he has to at this point. I feel like, well, me personally, I feel like Eminem should snuff the fuck out of him. I feel like Eminem should lay hands on MGK, but, but that's not reproductive. Keeping it rap only is, is probably best, but yeah, I feel like in, on, tra on a track, he would destroy MGK, so I hope he do, because if Eminem don't reply, I feel like there will be some repercussions only because it's, it's Detroit versus everybody. We had this big ass movement about it. And to let an Ohio nigga, 
<laughs> say this about you. It kind of looks bad. It, it looks bad for our city. It looks bad for Detroit. So I really do hope Eminem comes back with him. Comes back with something, and it's a classic, you know. But like I said, he haven't replied yet. It's only been one day. So like I said, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, but as as far as Machine Gun Kelly's track goes, talking about the track in general, the gist of the track of he, him saying his whole p argument was Eminem, you're old. <laughs> Eminem, you're a recluse, and Eminem, sometimes you're corny, and that that's that was most of the points he made. And the reason I don't like that old argument is because nobody is immune to age. I remember Nicki Minaj played that age card with Lil Kim when Nicki Minaj first came out saying, you're old, you're washed a little Kim, it's the new people's turn, and Nicki Minaj benefited from that when she kept using that saying she, um, Lil Kim was just old and bitter. But now, table fast forward nearly a decade, now Nicki Minaj is feeling that effect of it where she's 34 and people are saying that she's old, she's washed, so the same way she benefited from it, it's hurting her now because nobody's immune to getting old. And Machine Gun Kelly's fucking 28. That's two years from 30. <laughs> you know, he's not that, he's not super young, you know, he's not super young. So, oh my God, in the course of maybe six or seven years, people gonna say he's old and washed. And time is ticking for Machine Gun Kelly. Um, at 28, he don't have nearly the amount of accolades that Eminem has had. He haven't sold even a fraction of what Eminem have. He haven't accomplished nearly a fraction of it. So that's dangerous playing the age card against a legend of all people. So that's why I don't like that argument pretty much. But like I said, it should be a good back and forth. I hope Eminem replies. Um, but yeah, I want to talk to you guys about it. I want to get y'all guys' opinion of it. What did y'all think of the uh, Eminem Kazakazi? And what did y'all think of Machine Gun Kelly's reply? So let's talk about it. Hit me down in the comments down below. G Foley here signing off. And thank you guys for watching.